Secretary is wrong and his government have not outbuilt the, built the last Labour government? Well, I'm grateful to the Honourable Lady for her point of order and for advance notice of its likely content. She has put her point on the record. I hope she will understand if I say that the content of Minister's observations in the House is not a matter for the Chair. If the Chief Secretary, upon reflection, judges that he has made an inaccurate observation, it is, of course, open to him to correct the record in one or other of a number of different ways. But I hope the Honourable Lady won't take offence if I say, in fact it's meant as a compliment, that the Honourable Lady is a wily character and I think she has largely achieved her objective by putting her point on the record in prime time. Point of order, Heather Wheeler. Mr Speaker, um, you have always advised members of this House of the importance of showing respect to others in the workplace. In that regard, is it appropriate in this House, which is a workplace, that a female minister should have been referred to as a washing machine. I'm grateful to the Honourable Lady for her point of order. I certainly didn't say that a member was a washing machine. If I caused offence to an Honourable Member on Monday afternoon in the course of question time in rebuking her for a long answer, though it did result in a somewhat shorter one after that, but if I caused offence by what I said, I very happily apologise to that member. I intended to cause no offence to her. I hold her in the highest esteem. I hope I ordinarily treat members with great courtesy. It was an off-the-cuff remark. It may well have been a foolish one, and I apologise for it. Yeah. Point, of order. A point of order, Mr Connor Burns. I'm grateful, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, in this House during a division, if a member wishes to positively abstain, the option of walking through both the I and the no lobby is available to them. It is, possible <laughs> it is possible to walk both through the I-lobby and the no-lobby and record and have your... Order, 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 please, Mr. Bryan, I know you're an exceptionally clever man and no one is more... No, 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 one, no one is more aware of your cleverness than you. But you can leave me to deal with this matter. Point of order, Mr Conor Burns. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We are, of course, very regularly reminded of it, not least by the Honourable Gentleman himself. <laughs> In a deferred division, when one wishes to abstain, as I tried to recently, I was told that if you fill in both the I and the No, you are recorded as not voting. Should it not be possible or could it be looked at, either whether that advice was correct, or whether it should be possible in the same way you can vote in both lobbies to do the same in a deferred division. I'm advised that the advice that the Honourable Gentleman was given is correct. More widely, and the Honourable Gentleman will have heard that the Acting Clerk has confirmed the accuracy of that advice to the Chair. More widely, perhaps I can take the opportunity of the Honourable Gentleman's point of order to make it clear, and this I think largely deals with the concerns of the Honourable Gentleman, the Member for Rhonda, that the occasional, and it is usually a very occasional matter, the occasional practice of a member going through both lobbies as a means of abstaining has long been deprecated by the chair. It isn't a breach of any particular rule, so far as I'm aware, but it has long been <coughs> deprecated by the chair. It did happen on a piece of legislation a couple of years ago, and I have to say, I strongly deprecated the decision of a particular member to abstain in that way. And I think it is an unsatisfactory way to behave, and it's better avoided. I think we've dealt with it, but if the Honourable Gentleman now wants to have his say on his feet rather than from his seat, doubtless he will do so. Not now. OK. I think that's an end of points of order for now. Order. Presentation.